How's it going, everybody? What's up? Moses here, uh, bringing you a Diablo 2 Resurrected open beta video. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just going to show off a little bit of my uh, Amazon that I've built in the past, well, two betas since they didn't reset the um, early release or early access beta that they did last week so I was still able to keep some of my I mean all my stash and everything so I had some gold and I had a level 14 Amazon and we played a little bit and right now I'm level 24 which uh, means that um, I was able to spec one point into immolation arrow which is really really cool so I basically just made a fire explosive arrow or exploding arrow Amazon, I had this uh, composite bow with uh, three sockets, um, so I stuck a couple of tar runes over there, a lot of poison damage over time, and uh, monsters die a lot before that because the fire damage coming from, um, fire damage coming from multi-shot, I mean from, uh, what is it? That shouldn't be multi-shot, that should be Immolation Arrow. So the, um, the fire damage coming from Immolation Arrow, the explosions, are um, um, is, is already killing everything. So just basically, uh, quickly, let's go through the gear. I got some Magic Find uh, gloves over here with some resist and half freeze duration, some light radius, real nice. Uh, some Mana Magic Find um, ring over here. Attack rating and strength, 20 light res, it's pretty pog, uh, over here, and big magic find amulet over here, some magic find, uh, some resists over here, um, and yeah, the bow, of course we have uh, stealth, that's kind of like the best rune word you can make, it's kind of like the best chest you can equip currently in the beta, because there's only act 1 and 2. And uh, I made uh, Nadir for my mercenary, <laughs> which is uh, rather cool. Nothing too insane, just a lot of defense and some defense versus missiles. That's basically it. Uh, for me, I have a double lightning and uh, cold resist. Um, now, when it comes to the resist, I got 8 poison, 31 cold, 31 lightning and... Uh, uh, 35 poison. I meant 8 fire, which is not that high. I do have uh, nice boots that I found. tri -res, cold, fire, and lightning in half freeze duration. But if I'm using these, which is, you know, doable, then I can't use the magic find. And magic find is kind of dope uh, thing to have. Uh, what else? When it comes to the build... Just, uh, we put some points on Critical Strike, a couple points because the transition between 16 and 25 is quite important. Um, we got some passive skills here to uh, dodge a melee attack when attack attacking or standing still. Same here to uh, avoid projectiles and uh, penetrate, increases our attack rating. At level 30, of course, you grab Pierce, and uh, you only need the, like one point in each in like a final build uh, because you're getting a whole bunch of plus to all skills from all sorts of uh, sources. But uh, for the beta, just a couple of points here and there just to have some semblance of a build. Uh, Javelin, no reason to really touch any of those. We are bow. Uh, and we just put some points on fire arrow, whatever we needed on magic and multi multiple shot to be able to get exploding arrow. And that's it. Now, I'm going to respec this character, but before I do, I'll run through my favorite place in Act 2. Uh, everybody's running tombs, but really I do enjoy me some arcane sanctuary. Look at this freaking place, man. I mean, it's so cool. They built everything so nicely. I mean... Uh, it's all oh game. Don't don't crash. Okay. Um, so yeah, they built everything so nicely here, and uh, you know it's all so very cool looking. The fire is burning. Of course, the uh, emulation arrow does have a cooldown. Um, 
so I mean, and I literally forgot about it until just now because I just leveled up, <laughs> completely forgot about it. So I guess it kind of sucks. Um, so I guess we're not going to be using Immolation Arrow. Let's go back to Exploding, exploding Arrow. I mean, I guess I could, uh, I guess I could get the dot on Immolation and then have my left click be exploding. Right, so I can have like a damage over time going on my right click, and whenever that's on cooldown, I can just left click on monsters because that's like an immediate, immediate damage. Oh, by the way, and also, I made malice. I don't know how much you can see. Let's put it here. I found an ethereal superior with 14% ED, and I made malice for my mercenary, which is pretty, pretty dope. <laughs> That you can do that. I uh, I thought it's only for like one-handers, but apparently it's all melee weapons, which is nice because it's a bunch of added damage and chance to open wounds. And when you kill, uh, and when he hits uh, monsters, right now, yeah, you can see they're gonna be bleeding. So yeah, immolation arrow. I mean, yeah, it's kind of lame. It's just nice to see the fire burning on the ground, <laughs> but you know. Stuff dies a lot quicker, like a lot before they get to the, uh, wait, that's confusing. You gotta go down so you can go up. Yeah. Oh no, I can't believe I don't have any arrows left. Such a noob, recording a video. Um, let's uh, hopefully drop some arrows. I, mean, I can just quickly go to town and... Uh, Get some arrows going, oh biggie, but we can always hope we drop, we have 50 arrows. So, this is actually quite a nice place to farm. Um, oh, there you go. Um, now bolts and more arrows. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, the idea of this Amazon. Super cool. Fire burning. Monsters dying. It's all it's all very, very nice. That was the fire damage. And we got some loot going. Alright, so let's go. Let's kill. I mean let's respec. First let's go and um I only have one respec per character, so Good morning. Trade some of these. Filling up some on some potions. It is an honor to so yeah, uh, basically the second build we can do is uh, well, f frost arrow, frozen arrow. So we only get one respec at Akara's, which kind of sucks because I didn't. I don't know. I didn't quite think about it when I made her. But I made like a s one single mistake on my sorceress and I respect. I picked up a skill, never mind. I respect and I wasted my respect on my sorceress so I can only do charge bolt, which is a really dope skill, by the way. I can show you that too. Um, but yeah, reset. Okay, so in order to equip the gear, we need like some strength, so. Let's just click some points on strength until our gear. Do I need dexterity as well? Oh yeah, I need some dexterity. That's that. Here we need 30, 41. Of course, I didn't really need uh, to equip this helmet. It's just so nice. There we go. So all our gear is equipped. We can now drop everything on Vit. Seems good. So 354 life. That's okay. Uh, I think also in the original, like in the previous build, I had a couple of uh, couple points on like mana, energy. All right. So let's start with the passive. Let's do one and two. And then dodge and avoid and penetrate. That's it. Evade. Dodge. Oh yeah, 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 of course. We're taking We're taking evade. One point. 
And now bow and crossbow. So fraught stuff is there's cold arrow, ice arrow, and freezing arrow. That's level 30. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's do the cold arrow. One point, and then drop everything on ice arrow. I won't be able to reach level 30 in the beta. It's like too much grinding. Uh... I still have 11 skill points. I can only level up um, Ice Arrow so much. Man, that's gonna be cool though. Ice Arrow here, Frozen Arrow, left click, I mean, cl cold, yeah, Clawed Arrow. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, the rest of the points Cold and Ice. That's Ice, that's Cold. I want anything else, let's think. <clears throat> Guided arrow strafe. I mean It's kinda lame and I don't really need the damage, so let's just do one, two, three, and strafe just so we can see the animation of the skill. And we'll dump everything else on cold arrow to buff up the damage so guided arrow let's check it let's see cold can be just my left click ice arrow does it have a cooldown <clears throat> no it shouldn't all right so let's put um ice on my F1. I said F1. And then magic, I don't care, guided, no. I only want to see the animation of strafe. I mean, I guess I could uh, show you guided arrow and magic arrow, but uh, I don't know. I think they're kind of basic. Let's see. Okay, that just happened again. <clears throat> uh, we can go and do the Canyon of the Magi and get into a tomb, no problem. Game takes a second to load. Okay. What is going on with Strafe? I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> alright, alright. I got it. I got the point. Let's get back to uh, Ice Arrow and forget about Strafe. So Ice Arrow is supposed to have like this exploding uh, frost animation. Let's get into Tomb. <laughs> uh, Blizzard, come on, Blizzard. Oh man. Yeah, it's very, very frosty indeed. Oh man, I love it. Don't you just absolutely love it? Indeed, it is frosty. It's pretty cool. But I think that the uh, fire arrow did uh, a lot more damage. I don't think I know. Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that, uh, perhaps, um, that I have poison damage socketed in my, in my bow, where I should really... Yeah, things are freezing. <clears throat> so it's more of a CC thing. I think what you really want is a level 30 skill that I can't have because I'm low level. <clears throat> and grinding the beta for level 30 is uh, not something... Oh, superior chainmail, that's cool. So yeah, grinding the beta is not something I'm gonna do for level 30. Or grinding the real game for that matter. <laughs> um, like, I will be grinding the real game a little more for sure, but... Um, you know, real life, job... Can't quite dedicate uh, 14 hours a day every day. <clears throat> Minor healing. Oh, it's pick up 
the arrows when you get a chance. I must say, the uh, frost arrow is a little less exciting than what I thought it would be. The freezing arrow is real nice because uh, it does like this big cold cloud of AoE. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, that's what the game used to look like. Lamau. Right? This is like terrible. How did I play this for like 20 years of my life? Like, it literally looked this way, and we thought it looked amazing. Yuck. I got plenty of arrows now. <clears throat> Too many. <clears throat> Getting pots are important. They did add the uh, auto gold pickup, so you just walk past that gold and you pick it up, which is pretty cool. They added shared stash tab, which is probably the, the most significant change they made. Uh, and they made it also that in ladder, uh, sorry, that in non ladder, you'll get the chance to do um, Diablo clones. Like you'll have a chance of dropping or uh, spawning Diablo, and you'll get the uh, ladder ish rune words in non-ladder so that's quite awesome and from what I gather they're going to do three or it's gonna be less than six months the um, you know resetting of a new ladder but remember how you used to be able to uh, like yeah I guess you can still drop the queue but I think the, you, you can't get the cube be put on the shared stash. So I can access this stash tab with uh, all my characters. Um, you know, oh yeah, and by the way, I found the Saigon's uh, shield, which is nice. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this is it. This is Diablo 2. You know it. Found the Sanders Taboo gloves requiring level 28. That's quite a massive grind in the beta. But 20 attack speed and 40 life. I mean, that's pretty dope. It's all very, very nice, right? It's all very, very nice. I was kind of hoping they'll let us play the Necromancer in uh, the beta, but we're going to have to wait a month. So that's it, guys. Diablo 2 Remastered. It looks freaking amazing. I'm loving every second. It's been uh, definitely a breath of fresh air. It's nice to be able to have a game I can stream. Right? Because... You guys know, I mean, if it wasn't for Zwift recently that I've been streaming, um, it would have been hard finding a game that I can uh, kind of like hop on and start my stream and like Twitch for a little bit to say hello to you guys. But yeah, if you didn't catch uh, recent news, then uh, two years ago, I weighed 151 kilos, I lost 60 in a massive effort, changed my diet, changed my way of life, started doing some exercise, and, and, and now I'm, uh, you know, doing a lot of bike rides. I'm a cyclist now, I'm really into it. I also quit my job, uh, moved out of my parents' house, I had a massive crash, and on my bike and uh, it took me three months to recover and a week after that uh, my dad passed away and it was just when I was supposed to move out of my parents house um, so that kind of got delayed now in my new place I uh, work as a bicycle mechanic um, I repair and I build a bicycle it's a wonderful job with great people, I'm having a freaking blast. Um, and uh, you know, life is uh, life is kind of decent right now. It's a pretty good time in my life. So hopefully it continues. And uh, hope to see you guys on stream. Thanks everybody for dropping by. I made several kind of vlog type video where I talk about all those topics throughout the last two years. Feel free to browse around and check it out. But Diablo 2 uh, Resurrected, I'll probably uh, try and squeeze in a D2R stream 
sometime throughout this uh, open beta weekend. If you guys, I don't know, living on a rock and don't know, or under one, and you still don't know, there is an open beta that you can play Act 1 and 2, and... Um, it's uh, it's pretty freaking cool. So I have this sorceress. She's looking dope. Basically, charged bolt. You get the idea. And then you can create, you know, the doo doo. Lovely. The sork. Oh, baby. Pala. My man. Barbar and the Amazon. You cannot play Necro and Assassin in this, and this is what it used to look like. Which still looks good, by the way. That's what it used to look like, and these were like the best animations in the game way back then. But yeah, I mean, you didn't have to wait for the full end of the animation to start the new one like I just did. Like, you know? You really have to wait until it's complete. <laughs> and only now. Anyways, you get the point. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, happy little video. And hope to see you guys on stream. I'm kind of back to full time streaming every day. So join me on my Zwift rides. And when uh, D2 Resurrected is live, we're for sure we're going to be doing some more of that. Um, it's been uh, fun putting out. A happy little gaming video. I've waited for Diablo 2 Resurrected for like all my life, I think. This is the game I was always meant to play. <laughs> Coming in now and I have a full time job and kind of unable to grind. Either way, bye bye for the fifth time today. See ya.